do you envision your audience as being? I know a lot of people in the spiritual community will mm -hmm. probably definitely resonate with the film. Mm -hmm. What about people that might still be in that intellectual, mm -hmm. you know, maybe working that corporate job? Mm -hmm. How do you think you would reach them with the film? Or maybe is it when they're ready, the teacher will appear? Well, it's a little bit of both, but we very um, purposefully mainstreamed this film as much as we could because I, I came about it originally where I was going to share a lot of things about energy and the chakras and the subtle connection between our physical body and the earth. I came to find out there really is a scientific uh, connection between the heart and the, the resonant fields of earth that are measurable. But we wanted to go after the audience of the people who don't have the tools yet, who, who might hear then from other people, oh, there's something in this film for me. And that's why we did it as a bit of a montage, a number of different stories, instead of just one story of, for example, my uh, recovery from a childhood of abuse. We have someone who's had cancer, some people who experienced job loss, um, uh, and uh, loss of loved ones and so we wanted to give a uh, touch a little bit of, of everything so that anybody would resonate with the mainstream message is you can heal your heart by going into the feelings step by step and that that was our goal was to reach not just the choir but to potentially touch those who who really are seeking and are beginners in this process of how do I make my life better and how do I create a meaningful impact in the world around me.